Want to see more Uncle Brownie, Cheese, or other possible spinoffs from Reservation Dogs? Stay tuned and find out. friends and neighbors, I am Vincent Schilling, the native guy in Invest in Thai and the editor and founder of NativeViewpoint.com. As we all know, the beloved series Reservation Dogs ended in October. But ever since I posted the interview with Sterling Harjo, which you can watch in the link below if you'd like to see that interview, I've had a lot of great comments and discussions about possible spin-off shows based on the characters. For those unfamiliar with Reservation Dogs, it's the story of Native American reservation life in Oklahoma. It ran for three seasons on FX and Hulu, and the show, produced by Sterling Harjo and Taika Waititi, had star-studded appearances from the likes of Wes Studi, Lily Gladstone, Gary Farmer, Zon McLaren, and Janice Meeting, Bill Burr, Ethan Hawke. Oh my gosh, I can go on for a long time. But now that the show has ended, what is next? Here are some possible spin-offs I created based on characters in the show. And just to be clear, these are solely my ideas and not in the makes as far as I know. But hey, you never know what may happen. Show number one, Moe's and Miko's Hip Hop Road Trips. Who doesn't love these guys? In this possible series, Moe's and Miko, played by Little Mike and Funny Bone, perhaps they start the journey on America's Got Talent. You guys know they performed the rain dance for Simon Cowell in real life years ago, don't you? In this spinoff, they embark on a world hip hop tour joined by actual native hip hop artists. And of course, let's see some screen time from Punkin Lusty, AKA Stan Jotty. These guys are amazing. They're great hip hop artists. I'd love to see a show like that. Show number two, The Dear Lady Murders. In this spinoff show, we see a forensic files type show where Kanye Yo Horn travels the country as Dear Lady committing acts of hyper vigilantism, or shall we say, reparations for the evil doers in this world of ours. <laughs> Can you imagine Dear Lady getting questioned by a detective or something like that? I think this could be a fantastic show. I'd really love to see it. Let's delve into number three, The Spirit World with William Knifeman. Who doesn't want to see a show with the ancient native spirit and proverbial anti-stereotype William Knifeman portrayed by Dallas Goldtooth? In this series, he could visit other unsuspecting victims in, who are in some serious need of sarcastic spiritual guidance. Of course, since William Knifeman lives within the veil of two worlds, the show could also be co-hosted by the character White Jesus. Another possibility, tell us the real history of people like Magellan, Christopher Columbus, or even the Founding Fathers. I don't know about you, but I would love to see William Knifeman interact with George Washington. Okay, I admit it. This is my favorite. Number four, a virtual slice of cheese, because as a super proud native nerd, I've always loved cheese. Look, he even has the same glasses as me. The character Cheese is beautifully portrayed by Lane Factor, but you know what? You know who Cheese is? In addition to being the character inspired by Sterling Harjo's own life, to me, he's the Thomas, the Evan Adams in Smoke Signals of 2023. But in this show, Cheese can get into in his own virtual world of video games by killing zombies, casting spells with wizards, battling demons with Conan, defeating mummies, genies in Dungeons and Dragons, and more. Indian country loves you, Cheese. And when I meet you, buddy, you better believe I'm gonna ask if I can give you a hug. <laughs> Number five, cue the UFO sound effects, the Maximus Files. Do you remember the X-Files? Well, in this Reservation Dogs spinoff, Maximus, the 1970s version, gets abducted by a UFO, and along with his alien co-pilots, aka Star People, Maximus embarks on a journey to explore all of our world's mysteries such as Bigfoot, we all know he's real, and of course things like the Loch Ness Monster, Chupacabras, or anything Sterling's wild brain can think of. We can also travel the universe with Maximus. This just, this just could be awesome. So, all right. In honor of those tough gals out there, show number six, Res Girls, Backward Hats and Shorts. Who doesn't want a series featuring the awesome Willie Jack portrayed by Paulina Alexis? Willie Jack made the Backward Ball Cap famous to TV viewers. Episodes can include the adventures and antics of Willie Jack's quest to be a provider of traditional medicine and more. That could be just a spectacular show. Here's number seven, aunties and elders, be afraid, be very afraid. Nothing affects me more to the core than aunties and elders. If I jump in the air and some auntie of mine or an elder were to say, hey, stop, I'd literally freeze in the air. 
Uh, bring in the Podemski sisters as the aunties. Wes Studi as Bucky. Graham Greene as Maximus. Gary Farmer as Uncle Brownie. Tattoo Cardinal could be in it. I thought of a spin-off show called Uncle Brownie, which would be great. But I admit I love all the elders and aunties, so they ought to be in the same show in my view. The drama could just be too epic. So moving on, let's follow the academic life with number eight. College life with Laura and dad. I definitely want to see what happens after she leaves the res and goes to college. In an episode I visualize, she helps create the school's first Native American student union, attends a protest, gets arrested maybe, or of course she has to call her dad, uh, played by Ethan Hawke, for help. You know, there's so much potential here. I mean, what subjects does she take? Can you imagine Devery Jacobs in a college class that's teaching Native American studies by a professor? I mean, the question she could ask, let, let's put it this way, that could be very therapeutic for me. <laughs> okay, next, let's delve into a world bravely addressed by Sterling. Number nine, L-G-B-T-R-E-Z. I just love how that sounds. And of course, Q-I-A-2-S. But L-G-B-T-R-E-Z, I just, the T and the Z, I don't know, just kind of a cool play on words. So another of my favorite moments in Reservation Dogs involves the student advisor Laura runs into when she's trying to get into college. The advisor, played by Bronson Harjo, is hilarious. I mean, probably one of the most hilarious scenes in the entire series. He also talks about how the Chippendale dancer's picture on his desk inspires him. I mean, that was just a fantastic moment. So in LGBT REZ and QIA to us, of course, the show can explore the world of gender, sexual orientation, how this concept of who you love is many times much more embraced as identity in Indian country. And not only that, it could seriously be hilarious considering the performance of Bronson Harjo. I mean, I laughed my head off in that episode. I just love him. And I, I think this concept could be really, really cool. So another concept that I love, and, and this series could get really, really real. Number 10, Locked Up. So Lily Gladstone, who, who you probably know, is the female lead in Killers of the Flower Moon, portraying Molly Burkhart. Uh, in, in Locked Up, portrays Willie Jack's auntie who's incarcerated and all I can say is more please. What, what happened? Why is she there from her story perspective? What has she experienced while she's incarcerated? There are so many possibilities in this spinoff. I already want to see what it's about just by talking about it. So, okay. So for further native baby papa and mama drama, number 11 show, snagging and teepee creeping res love stories. I'm like, <laughs> res love stories. We all know the reservation dog show stopped before we got to see what happened between Bear and Jackie. Will they get super serious? Are there kids in the future? What about dancing in a powwow? Could they be the next lead dancers? How could you leave us hanging, Sterling? Of course, we could also dive into other romances. You know who I'm talking about, right? Bev and Big, that's what we all wanna see, am I right? I mean, okay, here's the last one. Since I'm dreaming here, let's let's take this to a new level. And I and I created all these ideas on my own. So, and since there's no really such limit to the limits of imagination, let's really dream. I mean, let's really dream. So my final one, are you ready? My bonus dream show is number 12, Cousins. Reagan meets Bev. Oh my gosh, when I thought of this, I literally gasped. Here's the scenario. Both Bev and Reagan go to the latest native tribes and business conference in New York. And yes, 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 they meet up. Reagan meets Bev, Bev meets Reagan. They discover that they're long lost identical cousins. The entire cast of Reservation Dogs and Rutherford Falls travel back and forth, getting to each other's business. Michael Gray eyes as Terry, Ed Helms' as character, Nathan Ruff Rutherford, they meet Bev, and, and, and on and on and on. Oh my gosh, can you imagine? That just would be epic. They all are bumping into each other. Rutherford Falls meets Reservation Dogs. I, I just love that concept. Okay, now, Th these are just 12 possibilities and my head's reeling with all these ideas, but I want you to tell me your favorite or tell me the spinoff show you think you would love to see. So if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Also, you can visit nativeviewpoint.com if you'd like to read the text of this video. I wanna say thank you to FX for the use of images. And of course, all seasons of FX's Reservation Dogs are available to stream on Hulu. Yawa, this is Vincent Schilling, native guy in the best in Thai. Thanks so much for watching. There's more great stuff coming. Ona, friends and neighbors.